C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, my name is Soros88 and today we are continuing, well more than continuing, starting our gameplay of Starfield you know because first episode, last episode uh, was actually more of the introduction and we spent a lot of time on our character creation so yeah, <laughs> that happened but uh, yeah, I think, well the setting for now it's that we started our job as a miner in a, in a weird planet I guess and we found uh, some sort of um, device or something that sent us in an interstellar uh, fever dream um, and that's being treated like a, a little bit shady by our supervisor so yeah uh, that's that's one of the things that's happening so I guess with no more to say, let's just jump right into it and yeah, welcome back, click. The energy weapon system skill increases damage dealt by your ship's energy weapon. That's going to be interesting, like the ability trees that they're going to be managing here. I'm not so familiar. I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. I love the design, the, the credit stick. If I take it, am I, st am I stealing? Yeah, I don't want to take anything for, from now. You don't look good. Yeah, because I was sick, maybe. Let's see what else it's in here. This has been a good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh, sorry. Anyone else to bother? Ooh. We woke up a little bit sassy. I like that you can change uh, points of view that easy. Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Equip a helmet. Press... Okay, I need to open the data menu. Select the area in the lower right to access your inventory. In the lower right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Skills, inventory, missions, uh, star map. Oh, that's, that's interesting. You can move. Can you zoom in or zoom out? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have like anything here. <laughs> Ooh, and here's the planet. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. Show me. Okay. Back to system, back to galaxy, wow. Oh, I love the gravity lines on, on the... below the sun. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, wow, and we can see the universe. Jesus. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, skills. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represents basic skills. The row below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. Okay. So this is more like a little bit of, of uh, the fallout skill tree that you had there. Science, tech, physical, social, combat... 
Okay, so five of this. All right. Maybe later I, I will take time to read those properly in between episodes. Now the inventory. New items. Argos Extractor Jumpsuit. Beryllium. The Cutter. Deep Mining Space Helmet. Deep Mining Spacesuit. Med Pack. I have five? Okay. Huh, interesting. Minor utility outfit and tunnel mining pack. Okay, and I guess the ones with the triangle of on the upper left corner of each are equipped. So how do I equip it? Oh, just with A. Okay. Cutter. Oh, that's nice. Okay, okay. And yeah, we, we now have the helmet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. This looks amazing. I'm already loving this. Wow. Is this like a mech suit or something? It looks like it. Whoa, a ship! It ships older than this move. It's classic. <laughs> Lean is old. I'm old. Wow. I mean, this game is, is looking gorgeous, gorgeous so far. I didn't expect this. And I'm not quite sure, but they actually said that everything you can see, you can go in, so... That should be nice to explore. Barrett. Oh, there's a bot. Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. The tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. I'm the new guy. And everything went cool. Just like grabbing those. Minerals on Bendy? Kazar. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. <laughs> Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Yep. You could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most <laughs> gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Been there. Oh, really? Been the there, huh? Credits. And I'll be happy to never see this thing or you ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. <laughs> the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Okay, so pirates or something? Whoa. Here they come. The Crimson Fleet. Okay, so time to sprint. Uh, weapon case. Okay. Okay. And a med pack. Let's take it. Press R2 to fire. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, let's see, if we play pause here... Yeah, I think the, the battle stopped, but I want to 
check if I can change my weapon for this one. I don't know if there's like shortcuts like in other games, maybe, but they are not explaining it. Okay. Whoa, it takes a long time to reload. Your health is slow, use a medpack by pressing oh okay then and then and then A. You can also use med packs by opening your inventory, press uh, uh, press pause, select inventory and navigate to it. one interesting maelstrom okay so you can loot the bodies as well that's interesting that's nice oh I still have one objective oh no I just have to talk to her okay okay I have a knife I think this attack better not be coming out of our pay Rescue axe. Yeah, I'm taking everything and then we'll figure this out. Fortunately, they're not accusing me of stealing. Oh, he actually knows about the visions, okay. You're part of this now. The constellation? If they can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I mean. If you take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Whoa, wait, I didn't ask him for any of this. What is constellation, anyway? You stare up at the stars at night, wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. I mean, sure. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out okay. of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. No, wait, not my job. <laughs> what about the mine? Don't you need me? Uh... Now that we've been attacked... Oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Okay, thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. I'm sorry well, I doubted you. Now that that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Again, okay. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Oh, the clock! I wanted this one with the special edition of the game. Unfortunately, yeah. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you they run out quite quickly. Now, questions? Yeah, like tons. Uh, press B to exit dialogue when you're done asking questions. Okay. Why send me? Shouldn't you go? You're giving me your ship? Who are you? What's constellation? What exactly did we dig up? 
Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? Okay, the first question that I have is actually this one. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. Oh, they don't even know. Okay, okay, okay. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Okay. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Bosco <laughs> will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light and music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. All right. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. All right. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> oh, I love the, the clock. <laughs> okay, so am I able to actually go explore this before we go? Just a little bit, maybe? I don't think so, but I want to try. Yeah, no, I can't go in anymore. Uh, that's a shame. Oh. Maybe I can go in. I can go in. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I will take... Now I will take everything I can. And maybe let's talk with some play. Ooh, playing card, seven, five of clubs. I saw a seven, I won the seven. King of hearts. I'm not crazy, right? I saw a seven. Yeah, here it is. I'll take the seven of clubs. Hey, you get any good hits in? It's not every day we get to cut anything other than rocks. <laughs> Do I need I to eat, actually? Fleet hit us. Oh, to restore health. I thought maybe it was like a survival thing, maybe like Minecraft or something like that. Been Inspection soon, get it together. We're lucky. If you feel sick, Lost please report to the net staff immediately. Oh, and, I, and I, I'm not able to see what's, what's in there, but yeah. You in one piece? Good. Me? I'm just gonna pass out as soon as my heart stops racing. <laughs> Believe me, if the suits start talking about shared liability when we get back, I'm out. Genetic sample bottle. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna take it. Just in case. Some darts. Quiet job on a rock. Why is it never that simple? <laughs> what is this? Circuit board. Pliers. Zero wire. Wait, what was this? Staple gun. I'm just looking. I mean, I will have to get used to it because I don't know what any of this is actually used. But with the experience of um, both Skyrim and mostly uh, Fallout, in Fallout you have to actually like gather all of this junk. Oh. Day two of Argus Extractor's Victera dig. 
Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us, 18 hours, including the elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to rebudget for new equipment. Again. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always. And completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. Ugh. Calvert remains the weak. She loves Heller. She can't train away stupid. But she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, we've still got the dusty. And there's definitely some promise there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know it was just a saying, but I want drama. <laughs> Okay, I like the locks. They look amazing. Oh, now you can step in here? I mean, I would guess that's the mines that we were on below. I mean, it's a take, not steal. Heller's personal log number two. Huh. Personal log, Heller, Argos Extractors. I figured Vectera for your standard moon. Looks like I was misinformed. Lynn just filled me in on what we're really doing here. Looks like Lynn's got another, what's the word she used? Discreet contract with that Barrett guy. He says there's something special here, and he's paying top dollar for us to find it, rip it out, and deliver it, no questions asked. I have, of course, been honoring this arrangement by asking Lynn a ton of questions. She's playing it close to her sweaty old best, as usual. But a guy does have to wonder, what the hell does special even mean in this case? We're on a moon, in the middle of nowhere. Either this guy wants to make jewelry from some rare space diamonds, or there's some kind of ancient alien death weapon buried here. <laughs> if it's diamonds, I'm totally stealing one to give to Jennifer. Or Carlos. Or Naya. And if it's a death weapon, I get to shoot it first. Those are my terms. Alright, Hellers. Bolt cutter, pipe wrench. I'm not even sure what I'm using this for. But I'm taking it. So yeah, this goes down to the mines actually. Now we can have a proper look at this. How do I put my gun down? Oh, I can scan. Scan creatures, minerals and plants. Each unique item scanned progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. Alright. Interesting. Scan, surface map, photo mode. I want to... Uh, I don't know how to <laughs> unequip my weapon.
don't see anything of interest down here anymore. But I wanted to see like uh, the place where we were when we found uh, the artifact. just to see if anything changed. Well, not really. It's just empty now. Huh. And what if... Empty slot. Oh, so we can actually kind of like... Storm admissions inventory. Oh, we have the artifact actually. I have five weapons. Ooh, the rescue axe looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, okay. I still have uh, six med packs. Five med packs. And yeah, food helps you with uh, your health. Okay, okay. Okay. Sounds good, I guess. Well, oh, the wellness street does its job, and now I'm supposed to be full in health? Not sure. Whoa, 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 I almost fell to my death. Oh, you can go down here. Oh, you can keep exploring the mines. Oh, let's see. Let's grab some materials. All that we can. Oh, it recharges. Okay, okay. I thought it had like a uh, finite charges. I guess not. What is that? Oh, that's neodymium. Yeah, it wasn't beryllium. I thought it looked strange. Maybe we will find a use for this later in the game. Oh, and I found like a lot of deposits here. That's cool. Oh, but now that I think about it, you can actually get lost in these caves, cave, uh, caves, like, pretty quickly, if you're not careful. But I'm glad we came back before we left. Just because I'm not really sure if we're going to go back here anytime soon. Alright, let's leave. And 
I think there was another passage here. Yeah. I just want to see where this goes. Ah, uh, just more, more deposits. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks of when I was playing Skyrim and <laughs> I spent like a lot of time just digging up materials instead of doing what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I'm sorry about it, guys. I'm sorry. I, I know this may be like a little boring for you. So yeah, I'll, I'll just keep going. I'll just go and continue our missions. Maybe in future times I will... Uh, just edit this out and I will not force you to watch. <laughs> really should have paid more attention during this emergency. I don't know how to put my weapon down. In Skyrim there was a way actually. I'm just long pressing buttons in case one of those helps. Nope. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. So I wanted to see just the last thing. Just the last thing, I promise. And I'll end up the episode. If you're wondering <laughs> if the killing gets easier, the answer is yes. Oh, that was, that was cold. I wanted to check if I can go in this building. see if we can explore a little bit more and I wanted to see if we can actually go up there to see what's up there it's fun to feel like the different gravity here Oof. and the fact that you can actually go and explore all of this oh that's so amazing yeah, I'm loving this game, man. I'm really loving it. So much to do. Oh, I still have my lantern up. Can I go inside this? I don't think so, right? Oh, yeah, the circuits. Okay. Okay, that hurt. I get it, I get it. White Neo City Poncho. Huh. So, for the looks of it, I cannot go inside here. Maybe over here? Hopefully. Oh, don't tell me that's the only door. I guess it is. Ah, oh, such a shame. All right, all right, I get it. I have to go now. So let's get going. I bet Lynn knew this was gonna happen. We're still in one piece. Vasco. Okay. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. And there is a place to say it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will okay. to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Yeah, thank you, Vasco. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. <laughs> Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery-class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. 
I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. <laughs> so Barrett is just as much as a pirate as the ones following him, I'm guessing. Oh, the fact that this is built like a real lift in space. Oh man, there's so much work in this game. I'm such a fan of this. <laughs> oh, you have a toilet here? Okay. Finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face. And then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing. Except my ghost. Because I am going to haunt your asses till the end of your days. <laughs> Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about, what, uh, another week? So he left this just in case the pirates got him? <laughs> that's nice, that's interesting. Hydraulic, hydraulic clamp. I'm just taking everything right now. Once my inventory is, like, full... The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to, take, to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life, to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial workbench. Alright. So this is pharmacology. Uh, performance enhancement, medical treatment. Okay, so I do need to find like materials and stuff. Huh. Outpost development. And there are some ranked behind uh, skill levels, which makes sense, I guess. Equipment, helmet mods. Oh, so I do need the materials just to start the researches, okay. And yeah, I have nothing for, uh, for now. Alright, that's, that's nice. It's a hatch. Oof. Okay, okay. I'm liking this a lot. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Okay, with X we exit ship, with Y we take up, and we with B we get up. Or I can hold B to take off. L B. Okay. Here we go. We're going off to space. Oh man. And I got an achievement for all into the star field. Enter space for the first time. Alright, and now what am I now supposed to do? In orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems yeah. to ensure Thank they you. are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if Thank you're you. already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. No, I, I do want the tutorial, please. Uh, learn to fly. Use the... Okay. Okay, to select a ship system, 
uh, to allocate power. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Oh, and I see the speed going up and down. Okay, a okay, okay. engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Okay, okay, so this is the center. So this is like the sweet spot. Boost can be engaged for temporary burst of speed. Press LS. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage without a hull but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Okay. And that's it? You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's Whoa. a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. Okay. And that's with Y. Okay, okay, okay. Our first ship destroyed. Congratulations on surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Whoa! I just macked it. Whoa, again. Uh, yeah, this is going to be like. Uh, Okay, uh, press B to loot them. Okay. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. So, what? I'm guessing I should destroy them. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so first the missiles. My shields are about to to be destroyed. You're done. 
There we go. One down. Ooh, they're killing me with their missiles. I don't even have visuals on him. Come on, where is it? Okay, okay. I'm learning how to maneuver this thing. I've never done it before, so... Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. It's just... Uh, for... For doing this, like... Very closed. Uh, has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our. Okay, base. okay. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. All right. Open the data menu from there, so you can open their star map. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be enough for today's episode, guys, because we've already been playing like quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we're learning to fly, we already left the moon, and now we're going to hunt a pirate. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next episode of Starfield.